I, 22 female, had cheated on my husband, 24 male, with my female friends, 23 female, husband. Now, I suspect my husband is having a revenge affair. I'm just created this Reddit account to apologize for the terrible error I've made. I didn't publish this right away because I was still feeling so bad that I couldn't even write it without breaking down and yelling at myself, but I believe I've regained my composure, so here goes nothing. I'd also aim to keep it as brief as possible without omitting any crucial points, but without include any that aren't required. For at least a year, I, 22 female, had been in a very loving relationship with my husband, 24 male, full of lovely memories and nice experiences. I began a pretty mild emotional affair with my female friend's spouse a few months ago since I was intrigued by his own charm. Following some time had gone, our affair finally turned into a full-fledged affair after repeated efforts by him to entice me, since he had previously shown. Symptoms of having a thing for me. For the duration of our affair, my heart raced with passion, suspense, and, on sometimes, remorse. Even remorse couldn't make me quit since I was to sleeping with him while my spouse was away. But ultimately, my husband found out, and just when I thought he had to work additional hours, he was allowed off early to go home, and lo and behold, I was caught. Shocked and enraged, he shouted out at us before rushing away to a friend's house, where he spent the night, sad, as did I, I tried contacting him many times to speak to him about the matter, but he has yet to respond to any of them. The following day, at 7 a.m., he returned home, not to tell me what had occurred, but to grab what he needed to be away from me for a while, probably in a hotel room. Yuki, not her actual name, 23 female, my affair partner's wife and closest childhood friend, wrote me horrible letters spewing her rage at me, just when I thought it couldn't get much worse. I had no ID. How she knew, but she did and she continued to call me names before blocking me till further notice. He still hadn't returned home after three days. I was either too intoxicated or too miserable to go to work. So I spent much of my time attempting to reach him or weeping myself to sleep. I had suicidal ideas, but they weren't very serious. He eventually returned home. As I watched him open the door, I attempted to gather my composure once again to try and speak to him and apologize for what had occurred without seeming like a weeping baby. But to my surprise, despite what he had just seen, he seemed really delighted to see me. When I questioned whether he was okay or inebriated, he simply shrugged and claimed he was okay. I first believed him, but lost faith when I saw many bite scars on his neck, and he smelt like a perfume I or he doesn't generally wear, but one that Yuki does. Yuki unblocked me out of nowhere and answered, thanks, which I had no understanding what that meant. At first, my husband has been coming home recently, stating he has too much work to do, and when I try to contact Yuki, she doesn't answer, but she does when my husband either gets home early or is at home. And when my husband does come home after a late shift, he frequently appears ragged or untidy, as if he just got out of a scuffle, and he occasionally smelt like the same perfume I noticed when he returned from his three-day vacation. After all of this, I concluded that he may or may not be having a vengeance affair with someone, albeit I'm not sure who she is. I didn't question my husband if he was having a revenge affair because I was worried he'd tell me, oh you cheated, why should you care? Blah blah blah. All I need is some guidance on how to handle this problem properly and without seeming stupid. I adore my spouse, but I was enticed to conduct such a heinous crime by my libido and my ex-affair partner. Also, I'm concerned about my female buddy Yuki, thought I'd ask Mirla to express my concern. Since when I went her to attend a movie one time, she continued displaying indications of nausea and nearly vomited from time to time, which has been going on for a while now, so what may be wrong? Story 2. My 30 male, wife 37 female, wants a divorce over nonsense, I just need to understand if I am a cunt. Okay. I'm not sure where to begin, but I'll try my best. If any information is missing, please leave a remark and I'll be delighted to respond. This morning, I, 30 male, was having a fight with my wife, 37 female, and she suggested that we split. This isn't the first time she's done this. She regularly does it twice a year in particular conflicts, but this time I feel more inclined to accept her offer. I adore my wife, 
and although we have certain issues that I have decided to be patient with, including a lifeless bedroom, I don't believe our marriage could end in divorce since we talk often about everything. Anyway, returning to last week, we reside in another country, and my brother, 26 male, chose to come visit us for 10 days after living on the other side of the world for the last two years because of COVID. Our family isn't the strongest, and we don't have the great relationships that other siblings slash sons have. My brother is completely different from me, but I embrace him and cherish him above all as a trustworthy person in my life. We normally play online games together, which is a lot of fun, and he contacts me when he wants advice on major matters. Aside from that, we each live our lives in our own way. My brother came to visit us three years ago, while we were in another country for two weeks, and things between my wife and him didn't go so well, mainly because my brother is not the social type and can appear rude to strangers at times, he didn't know my wife back then, and because my wife is emotionally fragile and took my brother's behavior personally. If I were to assess what occurred back then, I'd say that my brother was being a bit of a problem and should have made some attempts to adjust to my wife's personality. This time, I knew they both wanted to make it clean and nice, so the three of us would talk on the phone and enthusiastically organize his stay with us. The first few days went well. Wife and brother began disputing and discussing intriguing issues, until that fateful day when a political-slash-philosophical dispute erupted. They both made tiny mistakes, nothing unexpected during these sort of discussions. My wife became enraged and left the room for a bit, but when she returned half an hour later, none of them would resume the talk. Why? Because my wife thought my brother didn't want to speak to her, and because my brother was feeling uneasy and didn't know how Slash wanted to start a regular discussion again as I write this, I understand how stupid it is. Anyway, we went to bed that night, and my wife asks me, what did you think about what happened? In a non-aggressive manner, I told her, the truth. I believe it's just a passionate disagreement, and there's nothing wrong with it in the end, but if I were you, I wouldn't have gotten so worked up about it or taken it personally. After a very typical long discussion of justification and explanation, she starts making up nonsense about my brother being a psychopath. He is a brutally honest asocial die at worst, at 1 a.m., and after more than an hour, I get frustrated and less patient and naturally become less tactful in my answers. My wife becomes enraged, orders me to leave the home, I refuse, she sends me to the sofa, I go there, she returns and says I can come back since she has nothing against me, and I go to bed unhappy, and she becomes enraged again because I am upset. The next day, I asked my brother to accompany me to the city since I wanted more time to address the problem with my wife. He understood and agreed. I also told him that he could have been kinder, and at least try to speak to her, since this isn't only my house, but also hers. He had nothing to complain about and handled himself well. It was a long morning in which I had to calm my wife down and explain her that nothing was wrong and that it was all just a misunderstanding between incompatible people. She eventually calmed down, I took her to the restaurant, and we had a pleasant day, except for the 4-5 times her bad attitude returned and I had to soothe her down again but this is usual of her. When my brother returned that evening, I could still sense things were uncomfortable, with my brother chatting to my wife, but keeping a certain distance, and my wife overanalyzing every one of his gestures and words and then quietly conveying me her unhappiness with an angry glance. My brother gently informed me the following day that it wasn't a pleasant environment and that he could book a trip back home that day if he didn't want to be the source of more issues. His point was that my wife is emotionally unstable and loves to make a big deal out of little things, and he acknowledged that he is really bad at dealing with such people. I didn't want to dispute with him, even though I was quite disappointed that he was going five days early. So I asked him, and then my wife, if they couldn't simply get down one-on-one -on -one and address their issues quietly like grown-ups. They were both in agreement. At first, the conversation proceeded fine with my wife becoming furious and raising her voice here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary. I was extremely disappointed in her when she told my brother she's 38 years old and she knows life and he shouldn't be treating her like he did, which is total nonsense and made me lose a chunk of respect for her, he responded that he didn't give a about age as long as people respect each other. 
Anyway, the talk finished with my brother saying that this was going nowhere, that we were going in circles, and that he had chosen to fly that day. My wife seemed okay, but you could tell she was depressed or furious. I'm not sure what it was precisely. They attempted to communicate to one other as normally as they could for the remainder of the day. When I said goodbye to my brother, I felt a lot heavier, as all these days of childish arguments and me being an arbiter had weighed heavily on my shoulders, and when he left, I tried not to show my emotions, didn't want to make my wife think it was her fault, so I excused myself to the airport toilets and cried. I exited the toilet as if nothing had occurred, my wife didn't notice, and we returned home, but I still had a sad heart. The next few days, these last three days, I have been more quiet and generally less cheerful. My wife never mentioned what happened to my brother, and neither did I she periodically asked me what was wrong since I was acting strangely, and instead of starting another pointless quarrel, I'd simply answer, no, it's nothing, I'm just a little sleepy. But I had the impression she was harboring animosity. Because why should he be unhappy? Have I done anything wrong to him? After a chat with my future employer about a very exciting project this morning, I went to my wife to spread the news and inform her about the project. But I could tell I was talking to an irritated wall. So I asked her what was wrong and she answered, Nothing, if anything, I should be the one asking you what's wrong. I attempted to explain to her that what occurred had left my heart a little heavy. So I don't feel on top of my game right now, but it'll pass. But for her, it was four days of me being unhappy, which was much too long, and I was probably attempting to manipulate her into being furious at me and responding since one shouldn't be upset or sad for so long. Of course, that's silly, and I told her it was my right to be upset after what happened. Again, a foolish lengthy argument occurs, during which I become irritated and we both raise our voices, which she then refers to for the next two hours at my bottled up rage that I flung at her face first thing in the morning. Anyway, after two hours of arguing, she claims she wants a divorce because I am the type of crazy manipulator who searched for a chance to quarrel as I asked her why she was unhappy while I was the one who was first furious. This seems like going in circles, which I despise. It happens often, and my brother has observed that about her, that she travels in circles and has tantrums over nothing. I see everyone encouraging me to get a divorce from here, but I need to know if I'm doing anything wrong, if I'm wronging her, if I need to apologize. I'm weary of twisting my thoughts and always trying to figure out whether I truly mistreated her to the degree where it merited that much problems. Please assist me.